Hi. Um, I hope you guys are having a good night. Um, I just wanted to jump on real quick and to share a word. Um, I, I know uh, yesterday I shared, shared a word about why I wanted to be married. Um, I kind of wanted to flip it and talk about singleness. Um, it is very important that we don't look at singleness as um, something that should be shunned. Um, it is something, it is a blessing to be single. Um, and in our, in our singleness, we should be taking every moment to spend time growing in God um, and growing in relationship with God. I think all too often as Christians, we kind of idolize marriage um, and we put it on this pedestal and then we're not prepared when we actually get married and um, it doesn't work out the way we think it should and it's not this fairy tale um, but it's work it's ministry um, so I think about Adam when he was in the garden he didn't notice that he was naked and without a companion God did God noticed that he was but he himself was in God alone with God spending time with God in the presence of God walking with God in the cool of the day and then God saw that it's not good for him to be alone the same way it should that it was for Adam it should be for us we should not be seeking marriage and seeking a companion and trying to find um, that companion but we should be allowing God to lead us and guide us to the one but we should be in him Focusing on him, seeking him, and allowing him to shape us and bring that one that he's called us to or the one that uh, he's called us uh, to to marry. Think about Jesus. Now, marriage is supposed to be a symbolization of uh, Christ's love for the church. And Christ loved us with such a great love that he, it was a sacrificial love, that he gave himself for his church. As uh, the Bible says, um, in Ephesians that uh, a man should love his wife like Christ loved the church, giving himself as a sacrifice daily. Um, when we think about Jesus um, going into ministry, he was 30 years old um, and then he did ministry for three years and he died at approximately 33 years old. Um, and when we think about that, what was he doing up until that point of 30 years old? Um, before he went into ministry, he was preparing. If we're waiting, or I don't want to say waiting because it makes it seem like we're just sitting there twiddling our thumbs, waiting to be married or waiting to be found. But if we're waiting for God to reveal or lead us to that person or f to bring that person into our lives, um, we should be in a moment uh, or in a time of preparation where God is preparing us and we're spending time with him and we're growing in relationship with him remember the word says in Matthew seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and all his righteousness and all these things should be added our number one goal in our singleness should be to seek God first in all things and in all ways we should be growing in the knowledge and understanding of him and we should just be growing in oneness with him being single with God is learning to become one with God so in our singleness, we should be learning to become one with God. So then when we make our transition into marriage, we become one. Understand when you become married, uh, you uh, become concerned about the things of marriage. That is your first priority. Your first ministry is your marriage. You, I, I remember I was in prayer one time and I, the Lord said to me, you know, I, I've, I've was having these feelings about, you know, I had been praying. Uh, now, I pray daily, but I hadn't been praying as often uh, in in a day like I normally do. And I remember him saying to me about that. You know, when you get married, a relationship, it will be, you know, will be close. But you won't be pr praying as, as often daily. Like, sometimes I pray maybe four or five times a day. In marriage... That could be hard to do. Um, not to say that I won't do it. It just it won't be as as much um, as because I have to. My husband becomes my priority. My family, my children become my priority. So 
in my singleness, I am taking and making every effort to enjoy it, to enjoy my time with God, to enjoy my time in prayer, to enjoy my time in worshiping in this word, because I'm becoming one with him, that I'm not focusing on marriage, I'm not focusing on looking for a spouse, but I'm focusing on him, and then at the right time, remember, Jesus didn't come at any time. He didn't come when he was 12, when he was 15. It was preparation mode. And at the right time, the appointed time, he stepped on the scene. Um, and John made the way for him. So um, while we are in our singleness, um, it is imperative that we enjoy it. That we take this, this time to enjoy our relationship with God and grow in ministry um, and all the things that he called us to. Right now, I'm able to do things, you know, outside of of being married because um i'm single so i i can you know come and go as i as i please as the lord leads and guides me um to do um but i know in marriage um it, that'll be my first ministry and everything else will be you know secondary so i just wanted to jump on and share that i love you guys i hope you guys are having a good night god bless you talk to you soon bye